Hey everyone, it's Anna. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Thought I would check in with you guys and share some things that came in the mail today um, that I have ordered and uh, also give you an update on my glue situation. So some of you had recommended that I get a metal tip for my glue bottle um, so that it puts out less glue when I use it. So this is the only little metal tip that I have and I just kind of have screwed it onto the top of this um, glue. I don't think this is going to last um, very long on here because it's just really pushed on there. So I think I need to come up with an alternative uh, for this. Maybe you guys have some suggestions um, that can help me out. So I've got that in place and I've just been setting this on top of it to keep it from drying out. I don't have a stainless steel pin to stick down in there. So um, give me some suggestions, guys. <laughs> Um, so I placed an order uh, from Goulet Pens and from Van Ness, and there are a couple of um, pen and ink and paper um, online retailers, and they have uh, Van Ness has a storefront too. Uh, but I ordered uh, a couple of the packs of field notes. These are the National Park series. So this one is the Rush, the Rocky Mountain National Park memo book, and these just have uh, grid paper in them. And the grid paper can, the printing can vary. Some of the notebooks also have either lined pages or blank pages. Uh, these all happen to be grid paper. And then this one is the Great Smoky Mountains. And then this one is Yellowstone. And I have this one already. Uh, my friend gave it to me uh, one year for Christmas, I think. So she must have got this series here and pulled this one out for me. So um, I wanted to pick this series up again because I really like the Smoky Mountains um, graphic and uh, of course the Rocky Mountain National Park. Fun, fun. And then I also picked up this series. So when you order these or buy these, you get uh, three in a pack. So uh, this is the Grand Teton National Park one and then the Arches National Park and Sequoia National Park. Love, love, love. So happy to have those. That finishes out my um, little uh, assortment of the National Park field notes. So I love using those little notebooks. Also, um, I got some ink from either Van Ness or uh, Goulet. The, both of the boxes came today, so it's kind of hard for me to uh, remember which one came from which, but uh, I'll just go through the inks that I got today. This is the Robert Oster Signature Ink in the color Heart of Gold, and uh, this is a really beautiful shimmery gold ink. Um, I don't think I actually did this. I didn't do a big swatch of it. I need to do that. Oh, I'll put it right here. Um, this is a gorgeous shimmery ink. You can see all the mica there in the bottom. And it's really, really beautiful. So let me give this a quick swirl here. And get all that mixed up. And then I need to get out my dip pen. Oh. And I have a, a little Q-tip here that I'll use to do my swatch. All right, that should be good and mixed. The thing with um, shimmer inks, you need to mix them up pretty good. Um, otherwise, you don't get any shimmer in your pen or in your sample here. So, ooh, gorgeous. And hopefully you can see the uh, glitter in that. Very, very pretty. And then let's give this a quick write here with my dip pen. And I probably was poking around too much and now the glitter has settled out of that a little bit, but that's okay. So this is Robert. Uh, heart of Gold. Gorgeous. That's a really beautiful color. And let me give that a quick rinse. All right, so here is that color. Really beautiful. That's 
going to be lovely. All right, so um, that is that color. Let me set that off to the side here. Uh, so the other color I picked up today uh, was this one here. This one I know was from Vaness, um, the online retailer. This is a bottle of um, Van Diemen's from the night series it's called twilight mist and van diemens is from tasmania uh, so this is an inter international ink and it is a gorgeous purple like a like almost like a periwinkle blue and it has purple shimmer in it i don't know if you can see that but um this is gorgeous i was excited to be able to find this um at a u.s retailer so let me show you actually what that looks like it's right here above my gold and you can see it's a gorgeous purpley blue and uh, it has um, a purple shimmer in it so I have put it in a pen which I'll share with you I'm going to go through all my pens that I have inked uh, for the month of September so I've put it in one of my pens and uh I'll share that with you, but this is a gorgeous ink. Gorgeous. I'm excited to have that. And I love, love their little um, box. It's got um, like bronze um, embossing. Really beautiful. All right, so there's that one and the gold. I also picked up the um, Noodler's Walnut ink. This is a permanent ink, um, and uh, so I wanted it for sketching and doing watercolors and things so this is uh since it's waterproof it'll be great to use for that so that's noodler's walnut then i picked up some um, diamine inks i picked up oxblood this is a really dark red i picked up ancient copper and i also picked up uh, red dragon and sherwood green these are two that i had samples of already and i knew i wanted to get these and this red dragon has been out of stock for a while so when i saw that it was in stock i ordered it and i just got these little bottles and then i also picked up twilight and earl gray and earl gray is another one that i had a sample of and knew that i wanted to get a bottle of it so i got those and then i also got this one as well this is a larger bottle uh, but it's in the color ochre and this is a gorgeous color and the bottle is pretty neat as well so it's a glass glass bottle and this is 80 milliliters whereas these are 30 milliliters so and i have this in a pen as well that i'll share with you so those came today and i think that's all that came today um so now that this is dry isn't that gorgeous oh, i just love that love 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 all right so let me go ahead and share um here i can show you the ink samples um oh that was it uh, i got another three samples I've already put them away in my little sample containers but I got the Oyster Hour from Ferris Wheel Press these are new inks that just released and I wanted to see what they were like uh, then this one is called Steeped Umber and this one is called Spruce Country Post and this reminds me a lot of um, it's like a if, if Green at Night and Sydney Darling Harbor had a baby <laughs> it would be this one See, it's not quite as dark as green at night but it's darker than sydney darling harbor but it's still in that green that same green blue color family so i think it's really beautiful uh, but i do have the samples of these as well so um, don't need to be purchasing a bottle since i have you know three samples of something that looks fairly similar um, and then i also uh, have done the sample of the ox blood which is a really beautiful dark red and it has a greenish gold sheen on the heavier areas of the inking. Um, this is the Red Dragon sample. This is a really beautiful red. And then this is the Ancient Copper. It's, uh, I thought it would be more uh, orange, um, orangey yellow, but it's more orangey brown. But really beautiful color. And then I also got uh, Sherwood Green. I love this color too and it has some red sheening in the heaviest areas of the ink and then this is diamine twilight and i put this in a pen so i'll be able to share that one with you this is that earl gray it's almost like a purpley gray and i think it's really beautiful so i'm glad to have that now and uh here's the noodler's walnut 
I got some interesting oranges um, to come out in that swatch. Uh, this is the ochre. So these two look very similar, but uh, walnut is water permanent and are waterproof, and this one is not. And then I also ordered a bottle of Califolio Andronopal. And this ink has some issues. This came out okay, this little swatch here. But when I tried using the ink on a dip pin, uh, both a plastic dip pin and a glass dip pin, um, it was really, really oily and uh, it wouldn't actually um, adhere to the paper. So I've contacted um, Van S. They were the company that I purchased this from. And they're going to send me a new bottle because there's clearly something wrong with this one. And I, I did a quick video to share with them. Um, the issues that this had and I showed them a big swatch off of a q-tip and there was just lots of oily um, oily film on top of the ink so I think there's an issue with that bottle but they're going to replace it for me so I appreciate that and then of course here's the Van Diemen's Twilight Mist again and the Heart of Gold so those are the inks that I bought today or got today and uh, let me go ahead and share with you now what pens I have inked up for September. All right, so first up I have this uh, Moon Man Vanishing Point. It's obviously in the color black. It's all blacked out, so it has the black clip um, and the black band here. Uh, you can get it where it has the silver clip and the silver band as well. Um, but I have this inked up with a dark red ink. This pen just gets tossed in my purse. Um, so I really like that it's a Vanishing Point. Um, and that just means, if you're not familiar, it's kind of like your typical ballpoint pen, click pen. Um, but instead of being a ballpoint pen, it's a fountain pen. So this is... Uh, the Moon Man Vanishing Point. And this is in a 0.4 millimeter uh, nib. And the ink is Diamine Syrah. I have a lot of diamine inks. Diamine, diamine, I'm not sure. I, I have a lot of them in pens this month, so I'm just gonna shorten it with a D. Let's see, then I also have um, another one inked in a dark red. This is my Caveco Brass. And um, this uh, Moon Man just gets thrown in my purse. Uh, the brass one stays here at my desk for note taking and things like that at work and in cards and whatever. So this is a Caveco Brass uh, with a medium nib. And this is inked with Diamine uh, Burgundy Royale. Really, really beautiful color. And I know they're both very similar, but like I said, the Moon Man gets tossed in my purse and the brass stays at my desk. So I also have uh, this brass pen and this one I have inked with um, the ancient copper which I got in the mail today and this is in a 0.5 uh, millimeter nib and diamine ancient copper. Really, really beautiful. I love the shading that you get with that um, ink. Um, so next up, I have this little Quebeco Sport. And this um, is almost empty. But I'll either refill it with the same ink or I'll find another olive green one. But this is, uh, yeah, so it's struggling. Quebeco. Um, the color of the pen is olive, and it is Robert Oster Motor Oil. So I really love that. Uh, I really love that ink. It's kind of a weird olivey brown <laughs> green. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Um, next up, I have this cute little um, Caveco. And I love this pen. This is also inked with one of the new inks that I got in the mail today. And so this is the Coveco Aluminum Sport in Stonewash Blue. You can see the um, how it looks like it's aged <laughs> and beat up. 
Um, I love that. And then this is Diamine Twilight. Oops. And so that's one of the new inks that I got today. Really, really love this ink combo. You can see how it has really nice shading as well. So cute little pen. And then I also have still inked from last month. Um, so I thought I would just pull it out and continue using it. Uh, this is my Twisby Echo. And I did re-ink this in the month of August. So I did uh, completely write out this pen um, almost twice, you can see. I really, really love this pen and this ink um, combo. So this is a Twisby Echo Extra Fine Nib, and the ink is Diamine Aurora Borealis. And it is so pretty. It's a great um, shader. Lots of variety in the uh, ink. And then I have two Moonman C1 pens, and they are a really large barrel pen, so you fill the entire barrel of the pen with ink. So this one is a, a fine point, and I really wish I would have ordered this as a medium point. So, um, I actually ordered a medium point, but I'll show you why I don't have it filled with gingerbread. So this is the Diamine Gingerbread. You can see it's a fairly thin, um, fairly thin uh, ink line compared to this extra fine of the Eco, Twisby Eco. This is a fine nib and it's a lot thinner. So I was hoping to get a uh, medium nib and get that gingerbread ink into a larger ink barrel so I could get more variety in my writing, but um, I didn't have the gingerbread in my medium ink, uh, medium nib pen yet, and that um, Twilight Mist ink came today, and I just could not resist putting it in this pen. So that purple shimmer ink is so pretty in this really large barrel and I hope you can see it shimmering. The sun is kind of coming in here a little bit, so hopefully you can see it a little. It's so pretty, but this is a medium nib, so it puts down more ink and more room for shimmer in your ink lines. So Moonman C1, medium nib, and this is Van Diemen's. Um, Twilight Mist. And this is gorgeous, holy cow. Look at the beautiful shading. So fun. So that is a beautiful pen and ink combo. <laughs> oh, all things sparkly. I like a magpie. <laughs> so those are the uh, pens and inks that I have for the month of September. Do you, uh, if you're into fountain pens and inks, do you ink up pens for the month or do you month ink them up uh, seasonally or uh, do you just ink them with whatever inks you have on hand and go for it? <laughs> so I'm just curious. Let, let me know down below. I am going to go watch the Oregon Ducks football game. They're playing Eastern Washington and uh, it's almost time for kickoff. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye!